Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Well, I want to say a big thank you today for always supporting us, like, share, subscribing. We truly, sincerely, and really appreciate you. Today's zone is quite an interesting one. It's a reality of what is going on, uh, as we can see. Let's get down straight to the news so we can get all the details. Coronavirus is being used to exploit Africa and Nigeria. It has become a full-scale business, Cross River State Governor says. Governor Ben of Cross River State has said that the global coronavirus pandemic has become a full-scale business for some people and that the world is using it to exploit Africa and Nigeria in particular. The governor stated this when he appeared on Channel TV on Thursday, May the 21st, speaking on why his state has not conducted random testing as observed in many other states in the country. The governor argued that the test currently being conducted to diagnose the virus disease in the country lack credibility and reliability. The governor, who has a PhD in environmental microbiology, went on to state that the coronavirus pandemic has turned into a full-scale business for some people. According to him, his Chinese friends residing in Switzerland recently told him that he has made so much money importing reagents out of the Philippines. Out there in the Western world, there is a businessman fearing, fuming all this, making sure they sell reagents. Indeed, my friend out of Switzerland, a Chinese, says he has made so much money imp importing reagents out of Philippines and shipping it to the world. So, it has turned into a full-scale business, I must tell you. Why will I be testing somebody who has not come in contact with somebody who has caught the virus? I will only test you when I have reason to, when I have seen symptoms. If NCDC continues to lower the criteria just to get more people tested, I begin to wonder because we have to exonerate the entire account and look at Nigeria critically to be able to support the testing regime. I think I cannot follow blindly. I must lead from the front because I am exposed. I am smart and I know what I need. I can tell you that this testing for coronavirus has gone eco-political. In the United States, for example, it is about the November election and for some businessmen, it is about their reagents for, for more money. But for me, it is science. It is reality. And because a wrong mentality will give you a wrong reality, I will hold the right mentality. Only contacting and connecting, tracking can help you identify those that have been tested. I am a scientist, please. Don't tell me bullshit. When asked if in Nigeria we are being exploited via the pandemic, he responded, of course, no doubt about that. No doubt about that at all. You don't, know, you, you don't have to be a scientist to see the exploitation, business, business element that have come out. Why can't Nigerian produce our own test kits? Why can't we have our own vaccination plants? Why do we have to take from Madagascar? Don't we have bushes and forests all around? Don't we have natural vegetation? It's all a scheme, my people. Speaking further, he said, malaria and coronavirus share much in common. That is for me. For me, in malaria pandemic world, we are naturally almost immune to the coronavirus. Even our own temperature here is such that when you sneeze, the virus escape. It is escaping into hellfire because it cannot stand its atmospheric temperature of 32 degrees. Sometime in Nigeria, we get as high as 42. I just sympathize with our fellow fellows who are in the Western world. 
those are the people you should be talking about coronavirus, not Nigeria or Africa, where our temperature is exceedingly high and everybody knows it. Nigerians have been exploited, Africans have been exploited, and we must shut our doors to these exploiters. I don't, in fact, I don't blame the governor of River State, uh, Cross River State at all. I concur and I support him. They tell us that coronavirus is, is scared eh, of a high temperature. How come we, that our temperature is very high, we are still experiencing coronavirus? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm not saying coronavirus is not real. I have seen the effects of coronavirus. I've been watching the TV and I've been seeing what it has been doing in the Western world. But I'm talking about Africa. Africa. This thing shares very close proximity with malaria. And that's why if you go and ask even government officials who have been sick of coronavirus and have been well, will tell you that they use local herbs. I'm telling you, local herbs. You know, those that have been treated. And guess what? That's why the Minister for Health and even the NCDC came to say that uh, Nigerians that have been that have supposedly been treated of coronavirus should not be telling people the medication that we used. What are the medication that we used? Do you remember what uh, President Trump said? Trump said you should use what? Our own very own uh, chloroquine because they share very close proximity. Very, very close. The, the malaria and the distance, very, very close. When you, when you are sick and your mother do, does that malaria uh, uh, concussion, goes to the bush, pluck mango leaf, um, uh, mango, uh, what's the other one, Popo, all of them, merge them together, cook them, give you some to drink and bait you with some. Don't you see how your body feels well? They, they share very close boundary. And that's why some people will tell you that they treated themselves with that one and they are fine. The people that are dying and those, are those that, are, that have underlying health issues. Take, for instance, somebody already have, um, say, um, they already have high blood pressure, they already have uh, diabetes, they already have other underlying issues. That's where you see that uh, there is death because, I mean, especially aged. Those that are already aged, you know, already, uh, you know, yes, those, not, not just everybody, anybody. Hmm? It's not just everybody, anybody. With our high temperature again, uh -uh, with our high temperature, did you hear the governor of River State, Ben? He said we get as high from 32 to at, as sometimes 42. That's how high we get. And he said this virus, uh, it cannot even stand as high as that temperature. So how come it's killing people? Like I told you, aged people, people that have low immune system, People, you know, people that have underlying health issues, say, for instance, and some people that are maybe sickle cell, those that are, their blood cannot stand sicknesses that have to be seriously medicated and all that. Those are people that are dying for coronavirus. It's not just, um, you know, it's not just, I mean, those are some of the people, not everybody. So there is a lot of uh, different uh, matter going on and it's more political. How can we pay uh, one, 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 $171 million? for concussion, the same Popo and Agbo, Agbo, the same Agbo, uh, uh, Madagascar brought it here and they told us to pay 71 million. Why our very own Oni of Ife said that they are coming up with these things and that uh, governments should support them. They've treated the people with coronavirus. And I tell you, this thing they share boundary with uh, malaria. They've treated people and people have been well. That's so they are working on it. They are doing their lab testing and the rest to make sure that they get to the bottom of this coronavirus. You see? Uh, they say, you said they are working on it. The government, like I said, they're not here. The government of Nigeria not here that one. They're not here and they don't want everyone here. And. That's how devilish they are. They prefer to spend the money and do business. Who even know that they get caught for that money? Can you see? So daylight robbery. I've been a minister of disaster after affair. Let's not even go there, Seth. Let's not even go there. Let's not even go there. There's a lot of evil going on in Nigeria. And it will take God's mercy to really deliver and save us. Everything they used to steal money. Ah, I never see. Everything they used to write paper, write pen. And it must be millions, billions, and trillions. That's the country that you are in. We are, we are, we are stealing is the order of the day. And if you are in a, a Buhari's camp, you are not a thief. -o. But once you are in the opposition camp, ah, he will send his dog after you. EFCC. They will back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's when they will start looking for you and telling you that you did one thing or you did not do another thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that people don't uh, exploit or steal. But that's the country that we are in. Even this Buhari administration that came to saying that they were coming on transparency. I don't understand the meaning of transparency. Maybe they don't get what it means to be transparent. 
Anyway, that's the matter. That's what is going on in the country. Uh, what do you think? River State Governor said, the Cross River State Governor said is an exploit that he, he doesn't believe in such things. Remember, the state is one of those states that are coronavirus free in Nigeria. Don't forget to thumbs up for us, like us, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you and bye for now.